I'm standing here in the brand new A-Wing. We'll take a tour of the rest of the building later. But first, let's visit the Foundation's Ice Ball Gala, which certainly lived up to its theme. It took place during one of the worst storms of the season. But that didn't put a chill on the fun or the fundraising. Let's take a look at this year's gala. It's a very exciting evening tonight to be at the gala. The gala for us is a very important annual event where we come together with our community to raise funds for some of the most important needs we have at Credit Valley Hospital. Uh, we're building a new maternal child center. And as the regional maternal uh, pediatric area, we, uh, we need these investments to strengthen our services in Mississauga and to expand them over time. And tonight's gala will raise funds that will help us do that. Tonight's our 18th fabulous gala, and the theme tonight is the ice ball. And as you look around the room, you can see phenomenal decorations representing that icicle theme. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year, and we have close to a 1,000 guests coming, and we hope to raise a half a million dollars before the evening's over. We have a live auction that's full of wonderful experiences for people, so I think that's going to be very popular. And how about your own Olympic torch? Who started at $1,000? It'll be 1,000 where? It'll be 1,000, now 15, 15, now two, 2,000. You're out over here, it'll be 2,000. I'm at two, what did you say two? My 15's in the back. We have more than 250 items in our silent auction. And then there are opportunities to uh, win prizes throughout the evening, and uh, including trips. Heads or tails, and it is. Tails. Tails! Congratulations! Give her a hand. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, West Jet. Thank you. And um, generally have a wonderful dinner, great dance, just a fabulous evening. With each one, your tenderness grows. I am retiring, and I'm retiring with tremendous pride in Credit Valley. It has been a joy to raise money for this hospital. Um, I've had the privilege with a great team of people to raise $85 million in 18 years, and uh, it's a hospital like no other. Are you are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Well, the Credit Valley Hospital Foundation always puts on a super gala and uh, it is well supported because uh, the people of Mississauga and the area in which the Credit Valley Hospital serves uh, know how vital it is to have a hospital up to date with the most modern equipment and with the uh, qualified staff to uh, look after us when illness comes our way. I want to share with you tonight uh, one of the most challenging cases I've had in my 20 years as a pediatrician at the Credit Valley Hospital. Late last August, a 13-year-old boy came to our emergency room. We initially thought that he was having seizures, but it was quickly determined that his heart rate was dropping down to 20 beats per minute. That night, after a number of tests, we determined that Daniel had uh, myocarditis, which is a rare inflammation of the heart muscle and the conducting system that can cause sudden death. I am thrilled to report to you tonight that Daniel has made a complete and full recovery. Thank you for coming out tonight to support Cred Valley. It is a worthy and important cause. The money raised tonight will go towards Credit Valley's new pediatric and newborn care units. I am your average 14-year-old high school student. I like video games, computers, and television. <laughs> but last summer, something totally out of the ordinary happened. It was scary and dramatic, and fortunately for me, I survived. I had trouble sleeping despite being really tired. I lay down on the couch and I thought I fell asleep because I experienced what I thought was a nightmare. It turns out that the nightmare I was dreaming was actually the beginning of my cardiac arrest. I was rushed into the emergency room and almost immediately a team of doctors and nurses came to my aid. I was critically sick for a long time, but they never gave up hope on me. I'd like to thank Credit Valley for being there. Thanks to everyone who cared for me and thought about me even after I was transferred to the hospital for sick kids. You inspire me to work harder and pursue my goals of becoming a doctor. In summary, I would like to end with another quote. When life gives you 100 reasons to cry, show life that you have a 1,000 reasons to smile. Thank you. <laughs>